Hi everyone, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud. This week I want to talk about the different versions of G Suite. As many of you may know, there are three G Suite Basic, G Suite Business, and G Suite Enterprise. And sometimes it can be difficult to know what are the differences between them and what is important to your business when considering which version is right for you. So let's get into it. There are a couple of things to consider when trying to decide between the different versions of G Suite and as I said previously which one is, is right for you and your organization. Um, I'm not going to make this a sales pitch for business or enterprise. I really just want to show you what the differences are and to try to help you make an informed decision essentially. That's, that's my goal of this video. Um, so I want to give you a couple of resources as well and I'll be sharing some of these on, on screen and putting the links in the video below. There are, are three resources that I think are, are useful or, or pages on, on Google's uh, website. One is the G Suite pricing page and that gives you the basic differences between the tools. Uh, another is their comparison page. Again, I'm gonna link to this below. And they also created a comparison PDF, which is very in depth and, in, in depth and goes through each of the individual features and which one is available in basic business and enterprise. And certainly, if you get to that stage and it's important for you to get into the nitty gritty, uh, that PDF is excellent. Okay, so the pricing page. Um, you can get to this by going to gsuite.google.com uh, forward slash pricing, and this will give you the pricing for each of the uh, different versions, basic business and enterprise, and also, as I said, dive into some of the differences. But before we get into that, I just wanna talk about the similarities because there's, at, at the very core of it, the product and the platform is the same. And so I think it's, it's easier to talk about what's the same first and then uh, delve into the other stuff. So you get all of the, the core apps within G Suite, you get, uh, Gmail, you get Google Calendar, you get Google Drive, and within Google Drive you get obviously Docs and, and uh, Sheets and Slides, you get Google Sites, and so all of the core uh, tools are the same. You get an administrative control panel uh, to control all of that uh, for, your, for your business. So, so all of that stuff is the same. So what's different um, between basic and business, because I think that's often what a lot of people are deciding between, and then we look at the difference between um, business and enterprise. So the, the core difference is that the storage in basic is limited to 30 gigabytes. So you only get 30 gigabytes of storage, that's the first thing. Also, um, within business, you, uh, you have unlimited storage. So uh, for, for business and enterprise, you have unlimited storage, which for some people that could be, uh, you know, that could be the thing that, that it, um, is the deciding factor for them. You can buy additional storage for basic, but it, it also can get very expensive very quickly. And, and eventually it just gets to a point where it just makes sense to upgrade to business and not to have to worry about storage anymore. Uh, the next piece is around Google Drive, and you get an additional feature in Google Drive called Team Drives, which has now recently been rebranded to Shared Drives, but I'm aware that people may still uh, know it as Team Drives. And Team Drives or Shared Drives basically give you the control of, uh, that an organization would require over your documentation. My Drives is a very distributed file system, it, there's no central ownership and that was a challenge within, within Google Drive and so shared drives or team drives fixed that and all of the documents and files and stuff and folders are owned by the shared or team drive. So that's a very important tool. We have a separate video on the difference between my drive and team drive. It's actually one of our most popular ones. I'll link to that below as well. Uh, so you can take a, a look at that if you're unsure about the difference. But it is a fantastic reason uh, to upgrade to, to G Suite Business. Uh, the next one is a low code development tool called AppMaker. It's relatively new as well in the last year or so, and some of you may not be aware of it, but essentially allows you to develop simple applications uh, around workflows and things like that without requiring a huge amount of development knowledge. So uh, I would recommend taking a look at that. And then uh, the, the next one is uh, in, in the app space is Google Cloud Search. And Google Cloud Search is very interesting. It's a tool that allows you to search across all of the applications. So instead of just running a search within Gmail or Google Drive, you can actually run a search across Mail and Calendar and Drive and Sites and the whole um, the whole suite or platform. And um, it also uses Google's AI and machine learning technology to kind of suggest uh, what maybe you're looking for. If you've ever seen Priority, 
in Google Drive that, that launched recently, that sort of a mini version of um, the cloud search tool. So that's only available in business and enterprise. Then we kind of move off the, the tools and we move into the administrative end and kind of talk about what the difference is uh, from an admin point of view. And there are quite a few differences um, from an admin point of view as well. So obviously all of the, um, all of the, the suite gets 24 seven support but you do get additional security and controls within G Suite Business. So one of the major ones is you get Google Drive auditing and you actually are able to audit your Google Drive environment. Uh, with customers previously, they would have often purchased additional tools to do this and um, sometimes you may still require these, but what it will allow you to do is to run a search of uh, from the admin console of what uh, files are within Google Drive and set up policies around those and say, I would like to be alerted if someone tries to share a file that matches this criteria publicly or externally in our organization. So that's very valuable, particularly from a data protection point of view. Um, a, a lot of customers upgraded around the, the, the GDPR um, time last year in order to, to remain compliant. Uh, the next area is data regions. Again, a new feature within Google Drive in the last year or so, and that allows you to ask Google to hold your data or require Google to hold your data uh, in a particular region, for example, um, uh, in Europe, uh, a big one for a lot of people. And then the last one is e-discovery. So you actually get an additional uh, tool called Google Vault, which some of you may be aware of or have purchased separately. Google Vault is included within G Suite Business. And so it keeps, it's an archiving solution and it uh, keeps an archive of all of your mail and chats and things like that in and out of the organization. It's primarily aimed at kind of legal teams. You can place legal holds uh, on, on mails and, and documents. So they're the kind of core differences between the, the, the basic and, and the business. I am going to dive into um, the more specifics when we talk about the comparison page, but I'm just, at the moment, I'm just sticking with uh, the G Suite pricing page and, and kind of what are the differences there. So let's just look at what are the differences between um, G Suite Business now and G Suite Enterprise. Okay, so with the Enterprise, um, you're, you're getting enterprise grade controls with things like uh, security key enforcement, you're getting uh, data loss prevention or, or DLP features within Gmail, you've also got uh, data loss prevention within Google Drive, and you're also getting more, much more uh, security uh, and, and controls. It, it's all really around the administrative side. So you've got stuff like uh, Gmail log analysis and BigQuery, um, you've got uh, things like auditing and reports and user tracking activity. So a lot more granular control. It, it's primarily focused around uh, security. You also get the security center and the security center is probably one of the big innovations within the uh, admin enterprise space uh, for, for G Suite in, in the last year or so. It's a very, very powerful uh, tool and basically allows admins to s have an overview of their environment from, from a single pane and from a security point of view. So very valuable for a lot of our, our customers in the enterprise space and a lot of them have upgraded to enterprise for tools and security uh, like that. So as I said, I'm gonna delve into um, some other areas in more detail, but that is the basics, okay? So for many of you, this might be enough information and you may be happy now to cut the video off and know I know uh, which, which version of, of G Suite that I want. But if you're still unsure, we're gonna dive into the specifics now, okay? So this is where the um, compare editions page comes into it. And this, and I actually have it up here because it, it, it goes into a lot of, of different detail. So it does include the stuff that we've mentioned. So I'm on, um, and I'm gonna bring this up on the screen. You can see here that you can select uh, product suite or Gmail or Hangouts or Meet or Drive or Admin. You can dive into different areas. I'm gonna leave it on the product suite and just uh, um, scroll through some of these. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but just some of the key ones that certainly have been advantageous to some of our customers. And what's great about this is, so, so see here, it has um, Vault uh, for e-discovery. So if I click on this, it will actually tell me 
what the feature is. So it says managing, retaining, search and export of your organization's email and on the record chat. And then you can click learn more and it will tell you more about that specific feature. So this is a really, really great resource. Next one down, we have advanced enterprise controls and customization that's only available in enterprise. And again, we click on it and it tells us what it is. Leveraging enterprise grade controls such as data loss prevention, the one I mentioned earlier, uh, security center, security key, etc. And again, I can click more if I want to learn more about that, okay? And then as I scroll down through the different tools, we can see a lot of them are the same. We've got the data regions one that I mentioned earlier, cloud identity premium, I didn't mention that. So uh, that's again, relatively new in the last year or so, but, but gives more enterprise security and device management controls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump to uh, Gmail just to show you Gmail. So. I'm not gonna go through every single app, but you can see here there's the data loss prevention stuff, um, there's the uh, SMIME encryption that's in business. All of the other stuff is pretty much the same. So this is just a great way of checking, is there anything within the specific area? The, the admin and the drive stuff is probably gonna be the biggest. So if I go to Google Drive, we'll see quite a few differences here. Um, between the two. So we're getting organization level controls of Drive, custom audit alerts, e-discovery in, in uh, files in Drive, um, and then built for Teams, which is the, the, the Team Drives tool. So let's just go to the admin one, because I think the admin one is actually uh, quite interesting. So in the administrative one, the difference between business uh, and basic, we've got mobile audit reporting API. So this, this is quite an interesting one, and we do get asked about this a lot, that like, with um, a lot of organizations, mobile device management is really important. And so, you know, being able to have an audit of the Android and iOS, dev iOS devices, sorry, on your uh, domain is very important. Then next down from that, we have the drive audit. I'd mentioned that earlier on, but allows you to audit your Google Drive environment in much more detail and see what users have viewed and printed and deleted. And again, that, that can be hugely valuable for organizations that need to keep control over the data, or maybe you're just using Google Drive more uh, than an organization that's on G Suite Basic. Um, now, if we scroll down further, we've got uh, mobile app groups, sorry, control mobile apps for specific user groups in Android and iOS. So again, this isn't in basic, this is in business. This is another MDM or mobile device management. So uh, distribute mobile apps of users and specific organizational units and groups uh, for Android specify different app settings for different organizations or groups. So again, more mobile device management. We've got more Google Drive uh, controls as well on the data loss prevention for enterprise. And then that's pretty much it um, on those. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was at the very end, you can download the full comparison. So I'm gonna pull up the full comparison. Now this is quite a long document. Uh, let me scroll down. Yeah, I think this is about three or four pages, but you can see here, it goes into incredible detail about each of the individual features within each product. So. If you're you know, um, making a case for, for the different versions of, of Google within your organization, or you're an IT admin who's trying to evaluate uh, the difference, then this PDF, you, know, you, you, you need to download this and, and, and have, have this um, for, for yourself to evaluate because it just, makes, it just makes it easier. If someone asks you a question, is mobile device management included? You know, what, what additional features do we have in, in mobile device management between business and, and enterprise? Then you're able to just scroll down to the admin section and look that up. It just, it just makes your life easier because you've, you've got that information to hand. So as you can see, there's quite a, a bit of difference between the different editions of, of Google. And it's quite interesting, I think, for us as an organization because we've been a Google partner for over 10 years. And when we started doing this, there was only one uh, version of G Suite and now there's three. And there's also additional tools like uh, Google Voice as well. So I think Google has come a long way and there's been a huge amount of changes. And um, I think it's a natural maturing of, of the product. Uh, to sum up, I think, really it depends for yourself on what the requirements are for your business personally i feel 
that G Suite Basic is ruled out for a lot of our customers kind of straight away. Uh, if you're less than kind of five or 10 users, really there's gonna be at least one or two features within business that you're gonna need. The unlimited storage and the shared drives or team drives alone tends to be enough for a lot of organizations to certainly seriously consider uh, upgrading to, to, to business. And I think even for me on my own personal um, website and account, I actually have G Suite Business because I like having the additional controls. I love the un, the unlimited storage, um, even though it's not my 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 business account, my for my my personal email. So I I think the the business one makes a lot of sense. I think it's very good value. And then really enterprise, it's it's a it's more of a um, it's more of an in depth review that c customers tend to do, and it's really about the controls, the security center, the DLP stuff like that and whether your organization requires those types of controls. And um, if you're unsure, reach out to your Google partner or ourselves if you don't, or indeed Google if you're engaged with Google. And um, I'm sure they'd be happy to discuss uh, the various differences and the requirements for your organization. So that's it for me. I hope you found this week's update valuable. And I will talk to you next week.